Can't do it. Go to Dynamite next week. I'm not going to go into detail. I will say that in 46 seconds. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you talk about this every week, Vinny. Yeah. And it happens, but normally I'm just like, eh, you know, he's got to get through all this shit and everything like that. But my God, this was like, he listened to the show and decided, I'm going to fuck with it. May, that's possible. I haven't thought of and that. And I'm going to do this so fucking fast. And what's funny is I was uh, I was making fun of this on Observer Live today, and then I actually tried to do it. I tried to read the lineup as fast as Excalibur. I don't know if you know this or not, everybody, but I am a radio professional. Mm -hmm. I am paid to talk. I am a well-paid oculator. What's it called when you talk? Orator. Orator? That's speeches. Vocalist? Anyway, I fucking could not even... I failed so spectacularly. And uh, to the point where... Now I wonder if he does this live. Oh, I'm sure he does. Or if it's a pre-tape, and then they speed it up. You know, they do the time oh, three maybe or editing. whatever, like in a podcast. <laughs> maybe special effects. Yeah. Interesting. Enhanced voice voiceovers. Enhanced ad reads. I hadn't thought of that. In 46 seconds, Excalibur plugged nine matches, including a 10-man tag renamed every participant, and also plugged two promos. It's four and a half seconds or so per, per, per deal there. Just ripped through it. One of which, by the way, one of the matches... There's an Owen Hart qualifier where it's FTR versus FTR. I don't know why. But the graphics are running by it's Jackson Cash goes away. And the place goes crazy. Like, what? What? We're gonna that sounds what? That sounds great. Why is this happening? They, Go back. They saw the picture. We don't know why. I'm gonna recreate uh what he did. Ready? Mm-hmm. By the way, that you know what is that is? Very much what he sounds like. That's uh, YouTube or something you sped up? No, this is uh, this is uh, um, Downcast. I see. That I use as the the podcast app. If you mm-hmm. guys never used Downcast before and you want to get the podcast, that's the best way to do it. By the way, but uh, they they offer uh, half speed. Sold for Anchorage. Alaska's Russell. I'm actually impressed with how good that sounds. Because usually when you slow it down, it gets like vibration and stuff. I mean, the question is, who the fuck would ever listen to half speed? If only if you listen to if you're listening to Excalibur, you want to know what's going to be on Rampage. But listen, I can imagine, you know, you want to get through the show, so you listen at one and a half speed. Pro Alaska on April 9th. So congratulations to them. Got all the other news to get into here today. NXT ratings, Pat McAfee. So that's the one and a half. It also gives the option of Actually, that was one and a quarter. One and a half, one and three quarter, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, and yes, three times speed. Maybe getting another gig, a new video game, your full AW time report, and so much more. Back on the kickoff, listen to live. Are you showing up right here? Wrestling Observer Live? Wrestling Observer Live? Wrestling Observer Live? I'm also going to get back here. I'm trying to find a Who in the fuck would ever listen to that and why? I don't know. You can't even hear anything. Maybe that's the option for fast forwards to get to the part you want. Just hit the fucking plus 30. I don't know. I don't know. So listen, I'm going to say this slowly because when you speak slowly, people understand you, hopefully. The issue is not that it's too fast for me to write down or too fast for me to remember. Of course, if I want to know the show for an upcoming card, of course, I can go on a website or Twitter or whatever and look it up and find it. The issue is the point of these ad reads is to advertise your upcoming matches and get people excited. And when you're ripping him off at two times, was it downcast? At two times downcast speeds, your normal speaking voice, when they go that fast, none of them sink in. He advertised nine matches. You know, was, uh, there was a 10-man tag. I don't remember who's in it. And FTR versus FTR. Those are the only two I remember. Great. What an effective advertisement you have. Well, he, he did go through them very fast. I don't hate this as much as you. because I, Just don't do it. Well, no, I want to... Listen, I'm excited to see FTR versus FTR. If they didn't advertise it, I wouldn't even know it's fucking happening. So, yeah, I want him to advertise all the match in advance. Obviously, I would prefer if they slowed the fuck down a little bit, but I would prefer him going at three times speed and I at least see those graphics real quick and so I can see if there's anything awesome on the show than not advertising anything at all. But it should be slowed down. It's preposterously fast now. It's literally a parody at this point. It is. 
Like if they tried, if, if for some reason wrestling was popular and they like parodied this on Saturday Night Live, it still wouldn't be this fast. It'd actually be half as fast as he's actually doing it. Rob Bartlett is the man. He tried the best he can. Vince on the new what Rob Bartlett's gonna do to you. Vinny be happy Corbin and Bartlett in a three way. Oh. Here comes the commentator, Rob Bartlett. He's a great imitator of Vince McMahon. Rob, you're the love of my life. Come back to Monday Night Raw and be my wife. <laughs> what? Wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty as ch- Hey, oh, look who's here on the show, everybody. There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the, the tone of the voice, you know? <laughs> you still got it. <laughs> You still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. Well, what, what did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He was born August fifteenth, eighteen seventy five. And uh, died you, April 28, nineteen forty six. He died in okay, but you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. You're going to go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye, aye, aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. And um, Lucky fella. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm moist. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.